Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle. If you are new, welcome. So here we are unboxing our waxing kit. I ordered this from Amazon and it only took a couple days to get here. But I can already tell from opening the box, I love the smell of the different scents in the box. So let's check out what we've got. And they're not too strong. It's not really a strong perfume kind of smell, but you definitely get more of a, a sense of the smell when you open the packets. But here I'm just going through, this is the spray that you use before and after you prep for your wax and some of the utensils. So here are all the items that come in the kit. Some literature, your directions, the sticks, the waxing pellets, the spray, and this little, the warmer, lightweight. Here are the nozzles for the bottles, for the prep and after spray. It's very hygienic, very well uh, wrapped and insulated. Um, I love the color of this little thing here, too. And as I'm unpacking this, I'm thinking about where I'm going to store it. But there was a nice little personalized thank you card. I love that. So, yeah. Good job, Trust Wellness. Thank you so much. And I'm excited to use it at this point. So, um yeah i'm just looking over everything that i have all right so here we go so i'm prepping my skin with the pre-wax spray and it's pretty lightweight um so it's just cleansing the skin of oils so that the wax can adhere properly and i have washed my face prior to starting this process now I'm just putting a little bit of powder on my skin just to make sure it's nice and dry. And I am definitely fumbling through this, but it gets a little bit easier once you kind of get the gist of how to use it. But right now I am just making a mess. <laughs> I am making a mess. And I think the first fragrance that I started with was the tea tree so it does have a light fragrance it is not overpowering at all it's not a perfume type smell which I definitely appreciate it so with my gloved hand I'm just pressing that on making sure that it's dry and pressed in my skin pretty well here we go pulling my skin taut at the bottom then I'm going to pull upwards Ooh, that was smart yep I felt that one but um some of the hair on my sideburns is kind of a, a little coarse so I think that was probably why but it did really well for the first pass as you can see here it's a little bit red but I did do the skin test on a patch on my arm the day before, so I didn't have any kind of reaction, but that redness might be just from the area, but, and the coarseness of that, that hair in that area, but, but it was fine. And then here I'm just taking one more pass over that area with the wax. And I did adjust the temperature. I think the temperature that I have it set at at this point is 155. And now I'm just making sure that it's hardened, that it's cooled. Well, I said hardened, but it doesn't really get hard. But it just cools down and it solidifies. That is probably a better explanation of what it does. It's It solidifies. So... I'm just making sure that it's ready to go, touching it again just to make sure. And 
and then I haven't quite mastered how to make the bottom lift up so it's a little bit easier to release it when I get ready to pull it but yeah I'm working it out so here we go Yep, not too bad. All right. Then the after spray that you spray on your skin, it has more, it's moisturizing. It almost feels like a, a lightweight oil. So that definitely helped the skin feel a little bit more soothed. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit red, but it was all good. My sideburns weren't irritated so here's the other side so the hair on my sideburns is just kind of sparse but enough for it to kind of not be a good look so we're just gonna take all that off bye bye here we go with the wax so I'm just trying to create a smooth even layer and what I'm trying to do is now that it's cooled a little bit is to try to lift up the bottom so it's a little bit easier to lift off the wax when I get ready to pull it when it's all hardened so I'm just gently pushing it into the skin just to make sure that it adheres to the hairs that I'm trying to remove then I give it 30 45 seconds test it make sure we're all good And I tell you, once this stuff heats up and just this whole process, I mean, it couldn't have been easier. It could not have been easier. Once you get a little rhythm, it's all good. Ooh, yes. Ooh, honey. Felt all of that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I did. It grabbed those hairs. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yep, a little bit more redness, but I've never waxed my sideburns before, so there you go. Yes, 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 and like many women, got that little bit, okay. Oh, it's not, not dry, see, touching it too quick, all up in my stuff. All right. Those pesky chin hairs. Yeah, so we're trying this out. See how it does on the chin. And here, it's really lightweight and yeah, just showing you what it looks like because I've added some more of the wax beads and I'm just letting it. And if you're curious about cleaning or maintenance of that, really once you are done and it cools, um, you just leave the wax in there because you're gonna put the top back on it and just as long as you keep it in a cool, dry place, you just, and each time you use it and warm up the wax again, you just add to it based on how much you need for that particular time that you're waxing. And this is where I keep it in this bookcase area. And it's good to go the next time I wanna use it. So here is where I do the waxing on my leg. And woo, honey, it hurts, but it pulls it out. Um, it was a process. I did have to give myself a little breather and kind of do it in, in parts because it is something to get used to, but it's pulling that hair off for sure. I typically have shave my legs so this is definitely a different feeling so it takes some getting used to but it's definitely pulling the hair off I would recommend this product I am definitely planning on buying my replacement wax so I spent $48 on this that includes shipping so I highly recommend this product I have enjoyed using it. It's easy to do.
and my tips for waxing is to prep your skin by exfoliating before you wax. Also take a little pain reliever before you wax because you will feel it later. And then buy wax that is complementary to the type of hair that you have. I have coarse hair, so I will definitely be buying wax to help with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe so you won't miss any of our latest videos.